You are here because you're interested in applying to Palfish and you're not sure where to start. I am here to make that application process as easy as possible for you. So let's keep this short and concise and let's get to it. Good morning, Palfish. Hey, sweet. Hello, Brittany Chere here. I am a Christ follower, a wife, a mother to three littles, a missionary in Guatemala, and I also teach ESL online. And I am here to inspire, train, and equip some of you to do the same. All right, as I said at the beginning, I know that some of you are just here because you're trying to get through the application process and it's a bit much. I think that the application process can be really daunting for a lot of us, no matter what job it is. So I am here to walk you through each step of the process so that you can get through it quickly and efficiently and effectively. By the end of this video, you should know how to activate your account on Palfish, begin the application process, fill out your profile and schedule your interview. I will also have given you the steps that you need to finish carrying out the process with confidence. This is not as intimidating as it might seem, and if you don't believe me, just finish watching the video and see if you don't walk away feeling better. All right, I am going to be walking you through the application process on this iPad that is plugged in because my sons were using it and I didn't realize that they were draining the battery. So it's going to be plugged in for this tutorial. Okay, first things first, where do you even go to get started? If you are starting from scratch and you have done nothing in the process so far and you do not have someone who has referred you to Palfish yet, I would love for you to use my link in the description box below and I have my code listed. You can save that. If you use my referral code, I will be there to walk you through each step of the application process and I will be able to see where you are in the process. If someone else referred you, please make sure that you use their referral code and in a bit I will show you where you can put that in when you initially sign up or if you have already signed up but haven't used a referral code, I will show you where to put that in. It's a good idea to upload, before you even start, a photo of yourself against a white background about passport size, any documentation you are going to be using, prove your nationality or your TEFL or TESOL, TESOL certificate, depending on how you say it. You can have those saved on your phone or device ahead of time so that it's very easy to stick it in when you get to that part in the process. If you used my link, you're going to see at the top, Brittany invited you to join the official kids course or something like that. And then down below, you'll see an option for where to put your phone number. You are going to need the Palfish app. You are going to search Palfish Teacher App and you're going to see this logo. That is the one that you want to download to begin this process. Now, the first thing that it is going to ask for is your phone number. So you need to put in a phone number that you do have access to because you are going to be given a confirmation code that you have to use in order to even start your application. So first things first, put in your number and have it send the confirmation code. Make sure to choose your country so it gets the correct code at the beginning and put in your full number. And it is going to have a little box that you need to check at the bottom of the page. Once you have submitted your number, it is going to send the verification code to that number. So you need to open that up, grab the verification code, and type it into that box. Now, I am going to note here quickly, I and many of my friends living where I live have had some problems with that verification code not being sent. A few of my friends ended up using the number of a friend or family member of theirs in the States because it would not send the verification code. And in order to have assistance from someone from the Palfish staff, you need to make sure that you are talking to them during China work hours. So if you're anxious to get started and it will not send the code after you try multiple times, you might want to consider using the number of someone else who is not going to be interested in teaching for Palfish in the future. It really is only needed here initially to get your verification code and if you ever get locked out of your account. Once you have submitted that, you are going to see a page where you are asked to Submit an avatar. You are supposed to choose a picture to put in that spot. You can change it later, but for now, just get a picture to put in as your avatar. Choose if you are male or female. You're going to put in your nickname, and your nickname is going to be the name that potential students see. So choose something simple. I used to have my first and middle name, but I found that 
because of the order their names are there. Many of them were calling me by my middle name. So I went to just using my first name and using some emojis to make it different from any other Britneys on the app. So I would encourage you to do something very simple. Teacher Brittany or Miss Brittany. Some people just say Brittany. So just pick something simple that will be easy for your kids to remember you by. You will be able to change this name at a later time. So don't let yourself get stuck on that. Then you're going to choose your password, which is eight to 16 characters long. And it does show in small print right there what things you need to include in your password. Next, you need to select your nationality. So this is not necessarily where you live. This is your nationality. Please remember with nationality, it says it on here. You cannot change it once you sign up. So please make sure you know your nationality and have cho chosen it correctly. If you have dual citizenship, make sure that the one that you use is the one showing that you are a native English speaker because that is important. If you are not sure that you qualify, you can check the requirements in this video, Palfish One-on-One. -on -one. Then you can come back to this video when you're sure that you qualify and you can continue the process. Next, this is where it tells you to put in your invitation code. So that would be the code that I put in the description box below or that your friend or recruiter has for you. Again, please use the code of someone who is going to be there to help you in the process. And once we are into the app, I'm going to show you how you can confirm whose code you have used. There is a case that many people deal with. If you have clicked a link somewhere else to get to the app or to start the process, it automatically puts in that recruiter's code. I have been told that you can avoid this problem by clearing your cache before you download the app. If you have already downloaded the app but you have not begun your application process, you can delete the app, clear your cache, and download it again. And there's no easy way to change it. There are some cases where the person applying has been able to contact their admin and ask for it to be switched before their interview. It cannot happen after the interview and there's no guarantee that the admin will help you, but it's something to keep in mind. For now, just do your best to use the right code, knowing that it's gonna be a big hassle to deal with later if you don't, and you might not ever get to change it. All right, change of plans. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to check to see whose inviter code you have in the system or how to add one if you haven't already. You are going to click on me in the bottom right hand corner of the home screen, then click on the settings icon in the upper right hand corner, and then check for the name that you have under inviter. If there is a name there, that is the name of the person whose code you have used. If there is not a name, this is where you would add the code of the person who referred you. Okay, so I have chosen the avatar of my two and a half year old son's selfie of his forehead because why not? And no one's actually using this profile. All right, we are here on the home page of the app. So you can be following along if you have another device. If not, just follow along now so that you know what to expect and then you can fill it out after watching the video. There is a lot on here. Please do not be overwhelmed. At a later time, I'm going to make a video showing you how to navigate the app. For right now, all I want you to focus on is the application process. So I'm going to tell you where to go. Don't worry about the rest right now. When you open up the app, you're going to see a couple messages down at the bottom. Go ahead and click your messages and that Palfish team at the top gives a little bit of information that might help you. It says, please fill in all of the information. Your profile is the first thing that your potential student will look at. This has to be created very carefully. One, please use your best real picture as your avatar. Two, please create a written introduction, at least 100 words. Three, please create a recorded self-introduction, 40 to 60 seconds long. Four, please go to My Wallet to fill in your salary information. Five, please go to the home page sound test and record a picture book to finish the test. First, you are going to go to the bottom right corner where it says Me. Please click that. You will not see much of your information right now. You just see your name and your avatar picture at the top. Go ahead and click Profile on the right side there. Then this pop-up comes that says information required. They're just telling you to make sure that any of the information you give is accurate and truthful. If they find that any of it is not true or that you have done anything to hide your information that is required, then you will be disqualified and you will not be able to continue with the application process. So keep that in mind. So at the top, again, we see the avatar, we see your username. Next, we see that it's asking for full name. You'll notice that it says complete in the color red for everything that you still need to fill out. So go ahead and click where it says complete next to full name. Once you're here, you'll see that it's asking for your first name and your family name, which is your last name. 
go ahead and put those in and those do need to line up with your passport or your driver's license or whatever it is that you're using to prove your nationality. This is important because if they don't line up, you won't be able to be verified. Then at the bottom, it asks for you to upload a photo. And this one is supposed to be on a white background, only you in the photo, your face needs to be showing clearly, and it's supposed to be a half length photo. It's like a passport photo. You can see an example, there she is. Okay, so we're gonna make up someone here. Let's say, you know what? I'm just gonna use the examples there. Alfred Whitehead. Alfred, you look a lot like my son. <laughs> okay, and then when we're uploading a photo, I'm going to go to my photo library. And you know what? Now my daughter gets to make it. All right, there we go. That does not follow qualification. She's not on a white background. All right, then you're going to click save. Next, now we're going to gender. I'm going to choose female. Oh, I left Alfred. Just ignore all that conflicting information. Now we're going to birthday, so you're going to hit, go ahead and choose the birthday. Here, let's just grab something from 94. Okay, make sure that you have the right country chosen for the country code, put in your number. Next, it asks for your email address, so please put in your email address. You have the option to change your password, but if you've already put it in, you should be good to go. Now it's going to ask for your text intro. I am going to go ahead and put a screenshot up of mine if you want to use any of that to form your own. The key is to keep the information pretty easy to digest. Some of these parents are going to speak incredible English and others will not. So go ahead and keep it simple. Show your qualifications, show a few interesting things about yourself, but don't overload them with a whole lot of information and go ahead and use plenty of emojis and break it up. Use bullet points or find some way to not make it overwhelming to take in. Next, you are going to go into your audio recording and it says record 30 seconds of voice introduction. This is just a chance for the students and parents to be able to hear your voice. If they go to your profile because they're interested in choosing you as a teacher, they can listen to this to see how you speak, what your accent is, to see if they're interested in learning under you. I honestly don't know how many people listen to this, but it's worth making sure that you are speaking slowly, clearly, and showing your gifts as a teacher. Just sharing a little bit of that same information that was in your written post. Now we went back to the profile. You are going to click on nationality. Now this this is important. You have already put in your nationality. It said it could not be changed. So now it is asking for proof of your nationality. You can choose your passport or you can choose your driver's license. If you do not have either of those, I have been told that you can use your birth certificate. It's just that if you have gotten married since then, if you have had a name change, then you also have to provide documentation showing that the name change happened. And then you go ahead and upload a picture of that right here. Make sure that you do not cover up any of the information. I've been told that if you cover up parts of the information, it will not be accepted. And you don't wanna have any problems in the application process. Process. Let's make this run smoothly. Then you click save and you go back to the page again. Now it gives the opportunity to upload your teaching certificate. Again, if you do not know the requirements, one of them was that you need to have a TEFL or a TESOL, TESOL, I hear it said both ways. You need to have that certificate. For example, if you used the $19 one on International Open Academy, then at the end, I just took a screenshot of my certificate and that is what I posted here. Once you have your picture uploaded, and you have entered the certificate number, you are good to go. Now go back to your profile. The next thing in line is where you started teaching. You do not need to be a teacher. You do not have to have previous teaching experience, but go ahead and put in any time that you have worked with children, whether you have homeschooled, taught at church, babysat, volunteered in a community organization. Put in a general date for when you started working with kids and click OK. Then it asks for your residential address. This address is supposed to be your residential address that is attached to your bank account. Next, go to education and it asks what your highest level of education is. So if that it was college, go ahead and put that in, but it is not required for you to have a bachelor's 
associate's degree for Palfish. So maybe your last one was high school. Then you're going to say when you attended that school from when to when and put in the name of the school. You can put in your major if you do have a degree. Then you click save. You are back on the profile again. Now it says working experience. Put in your latest working experience, whatever it is. If you don't know the exact dates, put in the general time. Go ahead and put the name of the company, the title. If it's not something really official, describe it the best that you can. It says, please describe your job duty. <laughs> then click save and go back to profile again. All right, so there it says add account for salary. So you're going to click add, click bank location. You can choose Canada or Thailand, but if it is not either of those, click none of the above and it is going to take you to where you can put in your information. So you come down here to pay in your account, click create. It says to read and agree to the employment conditions. So you need to click that box at the bottom, then click again. Now, if for some reason you already have a pay in your account, you can click already have and put in your information. But if you do not have one, you're going to make an individual account. This process is very simple for signing up for pay in year, but I'm not going to do all of that right now. Now to be clear, Payoneer is kind of going to be your middleman. So each month, at the end of the month, your money will be withdrawn from your wallet, is what it's called on the app. That money will be sent to your Payoneer account. So whenever you are ready to have that money in your account, you just go in, tell Payoneer to withdraw it to your bank account. You have that information set up ahead of time because of setting up your account with Payoneer, and they send it to your account within a few days. Now under tags and then auto reply message. I believe that this is for free talk. I have never put anything in there um, and it hasn't been needed. There are other people on YouTube who talk a lot about free talk. So go ahead and search that if you're interested. Once you have your whole profile done, you can hit submit. Now we are going to go back. Guys, I completely missed this before. You need to go into sound test right down here and you are going to be reading a picture book and this is going to check your sound. Nope. Oh. Yes, I will allow it to use my microphone. Um, it's recording me right now. Okay, well, let's try that again. What are the odds from shark attack to lightning strike? So I clicked the microphone, then I clicked it again when I was done. You scan through and you can read these pages. It looks like you need to read quite a bit. They didn't have this when I started. And then submit it at the end and that is going to check your audio. Make sure you're good to go for any of your classes later. Now we are going to go back to where it says application. Whoop. Application. <laughs> okay, and here it says teacher recruitment at the top. It tells you a little bit about Palfish, mentions the payment, and it reminds you of the requirements. And at the bottom, it tells you to choose your time for class. So select available time for class. Now it tells you that you need to select at least seven available time slots. So these times are the peak times, which is why they're only asking you for those right now. You do want to make sure that whatever you put in, you're actually going to be ready to teach once you are accepted. If you start this application process and you do your interview and you suddenly realize you're not available for something, go immediately and close that slot out because once you are scheduled, then you're gonna have to deal with penalties of cancellations last minute. And we don't want you to do that. We also don't want you to miss classes. So make sure that you are ready to be awake, be prepared for classes, and we will talk at a later time about how the scheduling works. So choose, make sure that there are at least seven slots that you have chosen, and go ahead and click confirm. So once you have put that in, you can go ahead and push apply. Now, I do not want to finish the process because I haven't put in all the appropriate information and I am not looking to actually apply, so I don't want to cause any issues. You are then going to be able to see your application status. So it lists the key steps of the application process. And the first one is your basic information, which is what you just filled out on your profile. Next will be your interview. Again, we talked about that. So apparently we did not. All right, going back, as soon as your basic information has been verified, you will be able to schedule your interview. Now, this is not a typical interview in that you will not be talking directly to anyone. In fact, it will actually be a recorded demo of you teaching a specific lesson from the Palfish course to an imaginary student at the date and time that you have chosen. 
You will begin teaching at the scheduled time and the recording will be viewed by someone from the Palfish staff in the few days following and be used to determine whether or not you have passed. This coming week, I will be providing more details regarding the interview and I will record a demo of me teaching that very lesson so that you have a better idea of what to expect and prepare for. Once your interview has been accepted, then you will have a quiz. It's a short, simple quiz that you can't really fail. You can take it as many times as you need to, I, from my understanding, but it's very simple, not something to worry about. Once you have taken your quiz, there is a short amount of time you have to wait and it has to be during their office hours. They will verify your certificate, then you will enter your probation period. First, you have to do your PF1 and PF2, Alfish level one, Palfish level two preparation tasks, which is basically teaching those trial classes for a recording like you did for your interview. It will be graded by artificial intelligence. Do your best, but you have as many tries as you need to until you get your best attempt above 80%. There's no need for it to be higher. And then you will be able to receive your first two classes with actual students. Those two classes will be observed because you are in the probation status. Whether or not the student shows, those are the classes where you are being watched by someone from the Palfish staff and they are deciding whether or not you are good to go as a teacher on Palfish. After those two classes, you are past the probation period and you are good to continue as a teacher. That's why it's so important that you have set up your schedule ahead of time to show your true availability because once you have taken the quiz and once you are set to go as a teacher for Palfish, then they can schedule you on any of your open slots and they can schedule these trial classes within two hours of the class. So if you check three hours before and then you wait to check your app, but you've left those spots open, you might miss a class. So it's important that you are paying attention and if you are not going to check the app, if you are going to go to bed, if you are going to go away, you need to make sure that you close those slots so that they are not scheduled because you do not want to start out your Palfish teaching by missing a class. I promise you it will hurt you. <laughs> so, do you feel overwhelmed or are you okay? These are the first steps. Later, I want to tell you about a plan to just tackle it really, really hard once you have applied. If you're using my code and you want to apply before that video comes out, be in touch with me and I will tell you all the tips that I know and all the tips that my friend shared with me for what she tells her referrals. There is so much more I want to tell you, but this is what you need to get started. So go now, go do it, get started. You can use that link in the description if you need to or use someone else's. Just do it, go. I'm just gonna stand here until it closes out. Probably seeing some videos. You can click these. If you watch them later, later, it'll show you other videos you need to get started. Bye.